China's humanoid robot price war is getting crazy. The success of Unitree's G1 has touched off a race to the bottom. Just months ago, $16,000 for a remote controllable human-like machine was considered shockingly cheap. Now they're dropping below five grand with research grade configurability once reserved for elite labs. The rising Beijing startup Booster Robotics, whose humanoids can be seen in autonomous football matches and underground fight clubs, is making waves with its new K1 robot. Booster introduced the K1 with this cheeky video of it dancing to Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Price starting just under five grand, the K1 robot is challenging Unitree's assumption that its new compact humanoid, the R1, will dominate 2026 with its $5,900 price tag. Standing about 95 centimeters, or just over three feet, the K1 is roughly 20 centimeters shorter than Booster's flagship T1 humanoid. It boasts a reported 22 degrees of freedom and is powered by an NVIDIA Jetson Orin processor that delivers 117 tops of AI compute. Its battery supports about 40 minutes of active use, which is lacking compared to the T1 and G1, which both offer about two hours of continuous operation. According to Booster, the K1 stands out for its open, developer-friendly design. That means it can act as a small and safe entry into heavy research robots for young learners and as a testbed for next-gen applications, similar to how Amazon's Frontier Research Lab uses high-end unitary humanoids to figure out ways to automate labor. Proving how fast things are moving, the K1's bargain bin price is already being undercut by a fellow Beijing firm, Noetics Robotics. The startup, which has already started mass producing humanoids, says it will soon start taking pre-orders for its new robot named Boomi that's priced starting under $1,400. It's marketed as a consumer-grade humanoid, closer to a STEM learning companion than an open developer platform like the K1. It's 94 centimeters or 3 foot 1 and weighs just 12 kilos or 26 pounds. 